Jin, and welcome back to my channel, Easy Ed Tech. So today I'm gonna to talk about two tools for online, hybrid, or even in-person instruction, Pear Deck and Edpuzzle. Pear Deck is an interactive tool where students can draw on slides, type in them, drag things around. So it's great for interactive lessons. They can be instructor-paced or they can be student-paced, depending on how you set it. And Edpuzzle is a video platform where you can insert questions into a video. The students can't fast forward the video, they can't skip ahead, and they can't navigate away from the tab that they're watching it in. Well, they can navigate away, but the video will automatically stop playing. But the best part of all is that you can tell exactly who watched the video and how long they spent interacting with it. So these are two super powerful tools, and I'll show you how to use each of them separately so you can use them in your instruction. But then I'll show you how to put Edpuzzle in a Pear Deck. So that's a great tool for online instruction, for remote instruction, for hybrid instruction. It's a super powerful app smash. If you enjoy this video, please take a moment to like and subscribe. Let's get started. So here's the Pear Deck Edpuzzle app smash and this is the student paced activity so that I can move through to my own pace. If I was going to use this in the classroom though or in synchronous online teaching, I would definitely use the instructor paced one where I as the teacher can control the pace of the lesson. I'm feeling pretty good today. Okay, so now I just take the little blue dot and move it to how I'm feeling. And you can tell from the check mark that I am done with this slide and I can just move along with the arrows or with this little arrow icon over here. So I can either just draw in the answers to these questions or I can click on the text and type it in. Either way works. I just have to exit the text box to move on. And here is my Edpuzzle app smash. I just click on get started. Taking that internship 10 minutes, holding on. Okay, so then it pauses for my first question. You can see that I wasn't able to skip ahead in any way. So I'm going to answer this question and I'll answer this one correctly. I could also press rewatch. It'll start over and play up to this point again. And I got it correct and I can move on. Holding onto the ropes every step of the way and cut the ropes. Unfortunately. And here's my next question. I'm going to get this one wrong. So I can tell that I got it wrong. I can press rewatch. It'll just go back to the, where the last question was or I can just continue on. Unfortunately, the bridge can only hold two people at a time. And notice if I go to another tab. To make matters worse, it it's so dark out that you can barely see in the old lantern of the zombies. And that's my Ed puzzle that I inserted into my slides. And this is the next slide and the, and the Pear Deck continues. So that's how it looks when you App Smash, Pear Deck, and Edpuzzle together. I'm on PearDeck.com and I just selected Teacher Login. And now I'm gonna go to Create a Lesson. And this is creating a new lesson in Pear Deck with fresh slides. You can also add Pear Deck to some existing slides that you already have. And I show you how to do that in my free templates tutorial. I'll put a link to that in the description box below this video. Okay, so now I'm going to just title this presentation and I'm going to go ahead and click add-ons and Pear Deck. If you, have, if you haven't installed Pear Deck yet, just go to get add-ons right here, search for Pear Deck and it's right here or you can do a search here and mine is installed already. But if it wasn't, you would just click install right here. So I'm going to go to add-ons, Pear Deck, open Pear Deck.
And now I can look through, I can either add something, this is where you would add something to an existing slide. I'm gonna check out the template library. So for the beginning of the lesson, there's all different options. I'm gonna add this one. So when the students come on, they'll leave a, they'll drag a dot to whichever, however they felt about the homework assignment. And I'm just gonna highlight the slide and hit delete because I don't need that one anymore. And now I am going to add this one. Okay, and today's topic is problem solving. So the students will be able to draw or type right here two things they know about problem solving. Let's see, okay, that looks good for the beginning of the lesson. Let's go back. Let's check out during the lesson. And I'm just gonna edit this text. If I click three times, it highlights all of it. Okay. And then I'm going to have some slides talking more specifically about the problem solving process. So here you can see if you scroll down, there's all different categories you can select from. I'm going to go with critical thinking. This is a drawing slide the students would draw on more drawing slides. I want to use text slides. And I'm just going to use a series of text slides. That looks good. Okay, so you get the idea of how to create a lesson in Pear Deck. So let's go check out Edpuzzle so that we can app smash. Okay, so now I'm on edpuzzle.com and I logged in with Google and I selected I'm a teacher. So if you go to home, I'm going to search for, this is a video that I know is on YouTube, so I'm going to select this one. Let's see. The full video is down here from YouTube. These are ones that people have already done. You can see this little one down here means they've inserted one question. I'm going to select the one from YouTube so I can show you how to do it. Normally, I would watch the video through until I found a place, a natural place for a question. And the first question that I want to ask is, okay, so this is the first place I'm going to put in a question because I've already watched this all the way through and I know that that's where I want to put my first question. So let's go to questions. Best idea. Okay, and I am going to, the this problem is you are an intern in a lab and the lab is being attacked by zombies and you cross the bridge in one minute it takes the lab assistant two minutes to cross the bridge. It takes the um, janitor five minutes and it takes the professor 10 minutes. And so we have to cross the bridge before the zombies get us. So all I did was I selected questions and then I selected multiple choice question. So now I'm going to put in the possible answer choices and that one is wrong. That one's correct. Add another answer choice. And these are both wrong, so I don't need to change anything. And I'm gonna save that question. And I know that that's the point I wanna add the next question. So like, again, normally I would just watch it through and pause when I'm ready to ask the question. Gonna add another answer choice. This one's correct. 
and save. So those are all the questions that I want to that I wanted to ask. So now I want to cut the video. I'm going to cut it right around the 152 mark. Again, I know I because I know this video. Otherwise, normally I just watch it through. Add cut. And now I'm going to click finish. And now I know my video is 157. That's what I wanted. I can tell it's the correct length. Now I'm going to assign this. So I'm going to set it for today and I want it to prevent skipping, meaning the students cannot skip ahead in the video. One of the cool things about Edpuzzle is they can't skip ahead. Also, if they go to another tab while the video is playing, it automatically stops the video. It pauses right where they are and plays again when they're back on the tab, which is nice. So I'm going to add a new class. You can also turn on closed captioning. I'm going to add a new class and I'm going to import a class. Check off this one and import classes. And now I'm going to check this off and assign. Okay, so if you want to post it on Google Classroom, you can check off this right here. I am going to select Share Assignment. And then here on the embed code, I'm going to scroll over till I see this part where it says SRC, that means source. And I'm going to highlight this link that's between the quotes. And it ends with the word watch, so that's what you're looking for. So that's what I'm going to highlight is this whole link after the SRC equals, after the quotes, and before the quotes close. Just copy that whole thing. I'm going to press Command or Control C. And then I'm going to go back to Pear Deck. So now I need to create a new slide. I can pick Layout and Blank. And I'm going to select a background color because I don't want just a blank white slide. And I'm going to pick light blue because the rest, <clears throat> the rest of the presentation is light blue. If I wanted this specific blue, and you know that I do, I'm going to pick this Colorzilla extension that I have. And that's in my must have extensions video. Pick color from page. And just click when the little crosshairs, you can see on that bar on the top that it's showing up. I'm going to click there. That copies the hex code. So when I come back down here and select background, just pick color, custom, and now I just paste in that hex code. Control V or Command V and click OK. And now I have the same blue, so it's like a theme. And I'm going to insert word art. And if you want multiple lines in Word Art, you pr just press Shift and Return. And then when you hit Return, it creates the Word Art. Now I am just going to go to Format, Format Options, and add a little drop shadow there. And close that out. Make it a little bigger. and then center it on the page. Okay, so now I've got to go back and copy that uh, embed code again because I copied something else in between. It's still highlighted, so I'm just going to press Command C or Control C. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to click Website. And now I'm going to click Next. And I can see that this is the right website because I can see the preview right here and select update slide. And that's it. That's how you app smash Pear Deck and Edpuzzle. It's that easy. So you can also do some cool things in Pear Deck like add audio. I'm going to add some audio to this slide. Hey everyone, drag the little blue dot towards the thumbs up or the thumbs down to let me know how you felt about last night's homework. And I can play it back if I want to hear it back. 
Hey everyone, drag the little blue and then just add that audio to my slide. So you can go through and add audio to all your Pear Deck slides as well. When you're ready to share your lesson, just click on Start Lesson. You can choose Instructor Paste. This will show up on your screen, which you can share via Google Meets or Zoom, or you can show on your smart board. And students will simply go to joinpd.com and join with this code. The other option is student paste activity. When you click on this, it opens up the teacher dashboard and you can just copy this link or share to Google Classroom. It's as easy as that. You can either post the link yourself in Google Classroom or just click on share to classroom. I'm going to share to that class. I'll create an assignment and it's in my classroom. Click on Assign. I have grade, grade category set up in that classroom, so that's what that was about. And you can go to View, and it'll take you right to Classroom. I really hope that this was useful and that you found this information helpful. I think this is a super powerful tool that's going to be great for remote or hybrid instruction. I hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe if you did. And of course, don't forget to tell all your teacher friends about it. See you soon.